isang napakagandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Makulay ang ating umaga ngayon kasi ito ay tungkol sa sining. At uh, medyo excited kami. Maganda ang aming uh, looking forward dahil babaeng um, artist ang ating i-interviewin. So hindi na ako magpa-dididili-dali or magpapatumpik-tumpik pa. Ako po si Dr. Letty Afuang, ang katuwang ni Dr. JD. Uh, siya po ang mag introduce sa ating guest ngayon. Ayan. So salamat to, Kleti. Magandang umaga sa lahat ng taga-subaybay ng ating kwentong likas yaman. At ngayong araw po na ito ng Merkules ay mayroon po tayong papaksain at yan po nga nabanggit ni Doc Kleti ay tungkol sa sining at uh, disenyo. At ang atin pong uh, panauhin na nagpaunlak ng uh, panayam na ito o sabi nating kwentuhan ay walang iba kundi si Ma'am Rita Bustamante. No? So siya ay aking ipapakilala. Si Ma'am Rita Bustamante, sabihin nating maraming hats na dala-dala. Sabihin natin siya ay isang artist talaga. <laughs> 'Di ba? Artist. And then, maraming pa siya mga titles. She's also an author. She's also a creative content developer. She's mm-hmm. also an administrative uh, person, uh, particularly in the Assumption College, no, in uh, San Lorenzo in Makati no you are familiar with uh, Assumption College alam natin yan no si ma'am kasi ay uh, nag uh, sabihin ko na yung kanyang education muna bago ma-connect sa mga iba pa niyang ginawa no so at ginag- ginawa kasi syempre <laughs> at sobrang dami ni ma'am ano eh, hats no okay so um si ma'am ay kumuha ng undergraduate sa ng interior design sa Assumption College, Assumption Convent, San Lorenzo Village, Makati, Metro Manila. Nag-master's degree siya ng development communication sa UP Los Baños. Doc Leti, taga Los Baños ka rin. Sa UP OU. University. <laughs> Oo, sa UP OU si ma'am, sa Los Baños at Tinuloy niya ito sa pagkuha rin ng kanyang doctorate in communication sa UPOU din. So kaya nga si ma'am ay into communication, visual and graphic arts, advertising, media production, performing arts, interior design, at resource person din siya ng personality development and training, no? So, ay yung kanya mga professional experiences ay napakarami for over 25 years, no? Si Ma'am talaga is into teaching and administrative work, no? <coughs> Chair, <coughs> excuse me. Chairperson siya ng communication department ng Assumption College, no? And uh, may mga libro din na siyang nasulat, no? <coughs> Sa industry naman, ang mga experiences niya is uh, naging art director siya ng isang advertising firm, graphic design studio, designer ng isang studio sa Makati. Nagdi-design din si ma'am ng homes at mayroon din siya mga visual communication clients. no Mayroon din siyang experience sa costume and makeup design and stage design para naman sa theater. no So kasalukuyan si ma'am has all the time, has more time now to focus on her paintings, no? Na papakita natin mamaya, no? And uh syempre, ang kanyang focus o ang kanyang kalimitan na theme o sabi na nating object ba mamantawag doon subject, no? Ay flowers, no? Na nakapokus din sa women and children. She believes that flowers empowered women and children. At 'yon ay paborito niya. Kaya yun ang kanyang mga ginagawa. So, uh, i-welcome natin si Ma'am Rita Bustamante at pabatiin natin siya. Hello, good morning. Uh, it's nice to be here. Napagka, you know, in, uh, I am very happy na uh, ini-interview ako ngayon para at least ako din makabigay ng aking Uh, thought process when it comes to art. Okay, yun ang aking ngayon buhay, art. Opo. And bago ko ta- natin simula ng kwentuhan, Ma'am Rita and Doc Leti, <coughs> ko lang kung paano kami nagkakilala ni Ma'am Rita at yan sa pamamagitan ni Dr. Uh, Jojo Sison, who is the founder of the Michael Angelo Foundation. 
and also the edit i think i think they have a magazine called the uh, angel rising so thank you kay uh, dr jojo for introducing me to ma'am rita para mapag-usapan ang tungkol sa art design and women parang ganun po eh no so magsisimula po tayo sa ating kwentuhan doc leti ko unang magtanong kay ma'am rita <laughs> Ma'am, ano, uh, binabasa ko lang yung inyong a little bio note. Ano, amazing talaga. Medyo sabi ko, how to be you. Yun aking unang sinabi kay, ano, kay Doc JD. So, uh, pwede mo ano, could you tell us about how you came into this or how you came into the advocacy or how you found out that this is really your gift no? and this is your strength as well. Parang ganon. Actually, Ever since maliit pa ako. Mm-hmm. I think my father was a civil engineer. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, favorite na pastime was drawing and sketching. Mm-hmm. Kaya ako magupo ako talaga sa, sa tabi niya because I was very interested. And then, uh, one of the things that na parang naglakas ang loob ko that I am um, an artist, pagkat ang papa ko, Every time I would sit with him and then I show him my stick drawings. Ha? And maliit pa kong bata yung stick drawings. Ha? And so, um, magtanong ko sa kanya, Pop, what do you think? Ang, ang, ang sagot niya palagi sa akin, Bakit? What do you think? Bakit tinatanong niya ko? <laughs> so, that may made me more or less na lang very confident that, ah, If Papa, if my dad thinks that he seems very good in in the arts, then I can do it myself. You know, so you know, I can uh, work. I'm acting uh, eyes got open to the arts, and then for now, now that I have been retired, nagahanap ako talaga. What should I do? What can I do? So my daughter got married to somebody from Davao because I'm not from Davao. I'm from Negros. And then my daughter, she says, Ma, ma-retire ka na. Punta ka sa Davao. Mm-hmm. At least different na ng mga, mga world yung nan mo doon. So doon, uh, nakita ko ang dami talaga. Ang ganda mga artists. You know, they're really very good. Mm-hmm. Not only with their hands. but with their creativity. Because I always, ako ya magpili ko ng artwork always. It's always not the technique, pero ang creativity ng artwork. So yun ang aking palagi hinahanap. So, nakita ko, grabe ang creativity. Ang sayang talaga. And then, nagpasok ko sa art scene. So, nga ari na ko, nandito na ko sa art scene. Nakita ko ang dami ng artist na ang galing talaga. Ruwa lang. Yeah, they don't have the privilege no? to show off their works. So that's why we formed this, ano, this uh, floral artist of Davao. Oh, one of our advocacy is that we expose this artist to to the to wherever no okay. so now i am trying to expose them to to manila so i bring artworks to manila mm-hmm. we create shows and thanks okay. to estancia mall in pasi they have given us the opportunity to be able to bring artists and show their artworks in the mall Mm, ang galing pala, no? Meron na pala kayong outlet, ma'am. Uh, Doc Leti, sa estansya. Saan po itong estansya, mon? Sa Pasig. Pasig. Mm. Bago lang na, nag, ano, nag, uh, end ang aming show ng, ng 13 lang, ng August. Ngayon, pupunta na naman. May malapit sa inyo. Sa Santa Rosa. Sa wow. Vista Hall, sa Santa Rosa. sa mga uh, second or third week of uh, September. Oh uh, baka mag-show kami sa Vista Mall sa Santa Rosa. 
Ayan, ang so, I hope you can go and take a look at the Islas Banyos near Santa Rosa. Sorry, am I doing Try natin. Work? Tingnan natin, Doc Lepi. Maybe we could ano, find, make time. Ano? Tingnan natin yung mga artworks sa Santa Rosa. If mabigay uh, ni ma'am yung schedule. Pero sige, pagpatuloy natin muna yung ating uh, kwentuhan about her life as an artist. No? <laughs> Bago tayo pumunta dun sa kay ma'am na mga projects. No? So, okay. mabata pa kayo na discovery niyo na talaga na you have that uh, ano talent that you have that yes. gift of uh, in the arts ano and uh, nag nagpursue pa kayo ma'am ng parang formal training then sa painting ninyo well actually i took up interior design no po, interior, interior design. design my painting jan besides the oh, na. It, it has very it has a very extensive uh uh one on the arts one. It's very creative in that uh, perspective, yes. So, sa interior design school na uh, poems and skills ko for painting. Opo. Pero hindi ko napunta. I should have gone to fine arts. Pero ang mami ko, hindi siya talaga gusto ng mga fine arts. Kasi sabi niya, magutong ka dyan. Sabi ko, bakit magutong ako? You know what I mean? Alam mo, so hindi naman kung maguto. And so, I had to study, I had to finish interior design because she agreed to that. Right. Pero because, kung hindi din siya mag-agree ng architect, so naman gusto ko sana, kay pang lalaki lang yan daw. You know, ang mind mo on lang na, ang old style, diba? So, okay, the interior designer na ibigayan yan. So, doon ako na nagpunta sa interior design. And that's where I hold my art mm -hmm. So ma'am, nakita namin ang inyong mga artworks. Ano? And it's really is very nice. Uh, Doc Letty, ready ka na sa pagpakita sa ating mga taga-subaybay ng mga artworks ni ma'am. Bago ko tanungin kung ano bang uh, inyong pinaghuhugutan na inspirasyon ano? para dyan sa ano, mga napakagagandang uh, obra ninyo. <laughs> ang ganda, no, Doc Letty? Nakaka-amaze yung kanyang mga ginagawang uh, obra no na may flowers and women no and uh, ayan. Kita niyo na? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's ito yes. ang ang uh, itong series na ito. Uh, that one that is the island chicks. I call that the island chicks. Which one? I sorry. I <laughs> uh wait, wait the first one, yeah. Yan. Uh, the first and the uh, number two and number one. Yeah. Yeah. Island yeah. chicks, yan. Okay. Kaya makita mo nagasarong sa beach uh -oh. or inong flowers, no? So, uh, ang akin hugot palagi, babae. Mm -hmm. So, I call them the island chicks. Yung mga independent women, they sell flowers, they, 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 they do their thing. I always like independent women. Mm -hmm. Doon ako naguhugot ng aking uh, data for what I will create. Uh, I will work for what I will paint. So these are the island chicks. Mamaya dyan, may babae at manok. Ay, babae at manok. Nasaan? Ito. Ito, yan. Yeah, uh -oh. Ang babae ito mayot, ang tawag ko dito sa kanya, si Red Hot Chick. Red Hot Chick siya. Bakit ito aking, si, may isang series na ito eh. Mada, I had mga three one women show ng babae at manok ko. Saan ko ito, saan ko ito nakuha ang aking inspirasyon? One time nasa met, wet market ako dito sa, sa Davao. Because I was buying, you know, nagtitingin lang ko kung anong uh, pwede mabili sa wet market dito. Bago pa lang ko. Sa so, pag-uwi ko na, nakita ko nga uh, may babae na she was sitting down on the ground. And then she was, parang pinapapractice niya ba ang manok pa for cockfight? So hindi ba, when I saw that, that ano talaga ang idea ko nga. Uh, Wow, how empowered this lady was, no? Na, hindi ba, gentleman's game yun eh, ang, ang uh, cockfighting. 
napasok na na ngayon ng babae ang glass ceiling sa sa cockfighting na sira ng babae kay siya nagawa na ng training and that reminded me of a lady when I was young pa kundi usually ang ating family life pag Sunday lunch the whole family pag uh, tapos ng family yan ng mga lalaki pupunta na sa sa cup cup pit you know to play the cup fight sa mga ano no and then the lady so the sabong and the ladies magmamadjong na yan no although i don't know how to play majong um, <laughs> and then so na nakita ko ito nga pinag-usapan nila yan ang babae yan Ma, you know he she would bet against the men and mas malaki pang bet niya and then nagabridge siya ng ano ni ng ng roosters for for, for sabo so para sa akin wow ang babae to talaga ha ipasukan mo talaga ang mundo ng lalaki at magaling ka pa yo know, <laughs> Ako talaga, ang aking talaga passion, makita ko isang babae na pansabla, yung she is really always the, the uh, ang passion niya talaga, gagawin niya talaga kung gusto niya. So I've seen a lot of women like that. And empowered. Empowered women. Oo. So this this I called uh, I called this series uh, chick series. <laughs> Ganda. Mm-hmm. Ah, Ma'am Lita, may tanong po ako. Ano pong kung ikakategorize natin, 'di ba, may mga klase-klase ng painting, ano? Ano pong klase po 'yang inyong 'yan? Kasi hindi po ako familiar with the, ano, kasi may mga abstract, 'di po ba? Merong contemporary ba 'yon? Ano ba 'yung mga Saan po la- babagsak o saan po pupunta yung inyong mga ginagawa? Ano pong klaseng painting yan? Contemporary pop art. Ah, contemporary pop art. Ah. Because you see, it was ang um, aking era talaga. Ang aking era was the late 60s and the 70s. Mm-hmm. Yun ang aking uh, teenage, adult life. So, ang aking uh, mga ng mga idol ng mga artists are very uh, they're not classical eh. mm-hmm. they're they're very contemporary like sila ni Andy Warhol na mm-hmm. nagkuha siya mga film and mm-hmm. then he would paint on those film na lang naging iba nila ang concepts of art so that oh. is where uh, I am I am for this present day Uh, scenario I am a contemporary artist but with the leanings of pop art oh, pop pop. Art. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, notice ko yung dots sa inyong arts is yeah, this your this is that, your it's meaning. a technique that's a technique uh-huh. uh, uh, which I call which is pointillism ah pointillism uh. So you use that most often in your artworks. Yes, yes. Okay. Because uh, I find it uh, very soothing to do. Ang kakakalma ka talaga. It's mm-hmm. but it's tedious to do, mm-hmm. but I like it because at least my work has effort na. Just okay. Kaya ano? It gives the art material kind of a a 3D effect, no? Para sa mga kaangat ganon. Meron siyang 3D ano? Yung may texture siya. Abo. Hindi ako na texture. Mm-hmm. Well, Mama, ano pong mga ginagamit yung material? Sabi niyo kanina sa amin, ahodo hindi pa tayo nagkukwentuhan, ay eh, acrylic. Ano po ba yung mga materials na inyong ginagamit sa pagkain? Acrylic lang ako and then canvas. Acrylic and canvas. canvas. Ang akin medium is acrylic. Ang material ko canvas. Hmm. Sisingit ko. Pareho kayo ng aking daughter. Uh, she paints flowers most of the time. Flowers and landscapes. And favorite niya ang acrylic 
Kasi ang oil mabaho daw. <laughs> Tapos ang watercolor medyo mahirap daw i-handle kapag hindi ka sanay. Ano? Mag-explore. Uh, watercolor is the hardest medium. Actually. Opo. Mm-hmm. And then the uh, bakit hindi na ako nag-oil because na asthma attack ko sa my fumes of oil. And uh, ang safest is acrylic. Mm-hmm. Although it was just born out of, let's say, acrylic was really born out for a hundred, about a hundred years lang. Unlike oil, yeah, time immemorial, oil has been used Opa. before. Opa. That's why nga, some people, when you say acrylic, parang medyo kwan pa sila, uh, doubtful pa sila na acrylic. But actually, ang acrylic, it does not crack unlike oil. Mm. Ang oil in the long run, pag matang, mag, mag-old na siya, it will crack unlike acrylic. Well, of course, depending man, kung ano kakapal ang ino mag-usa ng acrylic. But okay. it is very pliable. Okay. Mm. Uh, ma'am, curious pa ako, it's sa isang ganito, nakalagay, nakikita natin sa, sa atin po nga itong inyong mga work, Ilang o uh, ano po yung uh, duration na nagagawa niya? Halimbawa po, itong uh, isa lang, isa lang na painting halimbawa. How long? Uh, wha, ha, oh, how many hours? I cannot, you know, ma'am, JD, I cannot tell you because from concept to painting, that's the whole process. Hmm. So, ang concept, yeah, like I do my studies all the time. When I when I think of something, I write it down. I I, I sketch it, no, mm. so that when I paint, I just it's fast. I I paint fast because I have the concept already. Oh. So it's long when you uh, don't have the concept, and then mag magawa ko na studies ko. Dina visualize ko na ano ang itsura nito. How do I make it look like this painting? Uh, this is a series of painting. The title of this is Chicks, uh, Cacti, and hmm. Laughter. Okay. Kaya pala cactus lahat yan, no? Uh-oh. Why is it Why, the, yeah. why is it cacti? Kaya hindi ba kung when you touch the cactus, it it gives you pain, it gives yes. you a drop. And why is it that the women are laugh, uh, laughter? Because after pain, there is always laughter. So that's the concept that I created. Oh, ang ganda. Kailangan may storyline eh. Kung walang storyline, para sa akin, walang meaning ang art mo. Mm-hmm. So mama nga, ilan na ang paintings mo? If if, uh, if I may ask. Mara, madabi well, I started in 1980. Oh. It's been years that I've been painting already. And mm-hmm. I've had my one. I cannot anymore keep track. I have to go and look at my catalog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pero ma'am, yung mga exhibits mo, you, you, I, I, I think you have a lot of uh, mga solo exhibit mo. Yes, and... both locally and international. Yes. Oh, okay. So nag abroad ka rin ma'am to show your work? Yes, yes. Galing ni ma'am. So it is in the in the exhibits, ma'am, that you get to sell your materials, your painting. Or well, pan- basically, when I was younger, yeah, Opo. it was to exhibit. But I still go as a hanggang ngayon, nag exhibit pa din ako. But eventually, when you have a name already, people seek you out, naman. Mm-mm. They will look after you, na ma'am. Oh, they will look after. They will look for you. Kung oh. anong bago nga ginawa mo. Itong aking chicks, cacti, and uh, laughter. This is the latest series that I did for the Estancia show, which ended some 15. Which you will see if you come uh, to uh, Vista Mall in uh, Santa Rosa. So nandun kayo ma'am sa exhibit nyo? Uh, na-finalize ko lang ang date ko. Uh, basta middle of September or third week of September. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll send you a message. Oo. I will go. I will promise to go. 
hanapin ko kayo. Malapit lang mo sa amin eh. Oo, oh, malapit lang yan. I know. But this one is one of my, my I like this series, itong laughter. Kaya usually, ang akin mga babae, yung parang inang tipo sila hindi nagsasmile, yung parang tigas ba? Yung, <laughs> yung ano, how do you call it in Tagalog? Yung ang uh, siga. Ang <laughs> if, you take, if you take a look at the the red hot chick, ang siga ay eh, tsura yan. Amazon, Amazon na. <laughs> ngayon, no, ngayon, with the laughter, I enjoyed it because, see, because, because, siguro ang buhay ko ngayon, laughter na. You know, mm-hmm. kay, parang cool na lang ba? Wala. Cool, na. opo. Chill, chill. Ang, chill, 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 chill. No pressure, enjoy life, do a few things. No one dictates upon you. Ganun lang. Oh, tama, no? tama. Kaya, na, 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 um, No pressure at all. Wala, Ma'am, magbigay ka ng mga tips, no? Para how to be you. <laughs> Parang gano'n na, ba? Doc Letty, ano? How to be you. Ma'am, magbigay ka po ng mga tips kung paano ba mas ma-encourage din natin ang ating mga kababayan na may mga ganyang talent uh, like you have, yung sa painting, na para mas ma- malinang pa nila ang kanilang mga talent. At saka ma'am, idagdag ko doon sa request ni JD, no? yung how do you, what would be, sa tingin nyo is, um, sabi mo kanina, ganun din yung isip ng iba eh. Walang pera sa arts. Yeah. Pero actually, my daughter insisted that she will be an artist. Pero multifunctional kasi yung aking daughter. She paints, she dances, she, she sings, <laughs> she performs, she acts. Pero parang mas nakatutok siya sa dance. Paano yun? How would I encourage her to huy, go into painting kasi magaling ka naman ang painting? Actually, maglabas lang yan, ma'am. Malabas lang yan. Because, mm-hmm. oh, kaya I don't have the talent to sing. Talaga, bagyo talaga ang makuha natin. Ang tako. Pero, when it, I love to dance. The only reason nga, uh, hindi ako, ay, 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 nagbale ako from kindergarten to fourth year high school. Mm-hmm. Kung hindi ko nila kinuha, kay matangkad ako. Mm-hmm. Kung well, matangkad ka, usually gusto nila as the mga 5'3", 5'4", mga ganun. Kasi 5'7 ako. So I was so ay, matang, matang mahirap na. Mababali na kayo sa dasa, saya <laughs> Oo. But when it comes to painting, I do not believe. Like, maski na anong trabaho, basta may tiyaga pa. May kwan ka talaga. May, it will happen. Katingnan mo lang yan si Botong Francisco. Favorite <laughs> artist ko yan siya. Favorite ko. Bakit? Ang school dyan si Botong Francisco. Nagagawa lang siya ng karatula ng mga movies noon. Pero nga, when you take a look at his works, mm-hmm. oh my God, I am there mesmerized for hours to take a look at this guy na nag-paint lang siya murals para makakain siya. So now what is he? Botong Francisco is Botong Francisco. Mm-hmm. So, And then, ang dami naman ng forms ng arts na yun. Like, uh-uh. let's say, like, ang anak kong lalaki is a cartoonist. So, he makes a living out of that. But he has his art also na if he wants to draw lang or paint or whatever, he can do that. But you try to support yourself. Like, one of the reasons na na uh, ako uh, nag ano ako nag more or less I I did not paint for a long time because I'm a single parent so I had to uh, bring my children up so I worked in advertising agencies kay mga ganon kay because I had to support myself and my children Although I had the help of my mother, but still I had to support myself, most especially. 
And then I went to academe only because nakita ko ng aking former principal sa assumption sa Iloilo. And sabi niya sa akin, anong ginagawa mo? Sabi ko, uh, I am in an advertising agency. I am in the creative department. Sabi niya, magturo ka. Sabi ko, mother, ano pagturo? Ako, magturo. Sinya ako, magturo ka art. Ikaw, magturo art. Sabi ko, hindi ko pwede magano. So, three times ako itinawag ng, ng sekretarya niya for my resume. Hindi ko nabigay. Kaya sabi ko, mother, ano ang aking gawin dyan? Ano ito ko sa mga estudyante? I will just corrupt their minds, mother. <laughs> natawa siya nga, madre natawa. Because, you know, I never saw myself to be a teacher. Sus, Diyos ko. Kung di ko yung groovy, pops di ko yung klase na babae. You know? No cares in the world. And then, siguro, I don't know, maybe it's God's plan also. Because, pag turo ko na sa konvento pa, parang nagtino din ako ba? <laughs> so, so maybe it's God's plan I find it be God's plan uh-huh. since I'm a single parent so I have to take care of my children so that was God's plan and it was very good discipline for me um, uh, teaching was, is a very good discipline although I will mean, when they pag magsabi sila ngayon oh gusto ka ba magturo ulit hindi na hindi na hindi na po <laughs> Pag, so when I was chairperson, I had 400 students in my department that I had to take care. And you know how it is to take care of 400 college students. <laughs> no, mga iba-iba personality. Okay. Oh no, I will not, Because I take it too hard. You know what I mean? When, <laughs> once I do something, I always do. Yeah. I take it too hard. Right, right. No, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, so... <laughs> Mamang tanong ko din ay uh, do you consider your being an artist yung is it a natural or it's really a gift to you? I mean for your person. I mean it, it's I your... guess you know I always believe in that everyone is an artist. Wala sa atin yung hindi artist. Okay. It's you just follow a path that you know you are best in. Mm-hmm. So, like me, I followed that path. But then, uh, when I became a single parent, wow, that was a eye-opener for me. Hey, I have to take care of three children. So, I had to go and follow a path where uh, I can care for three children. Mm-hmm. And then, after I retired, my children are okay. They are, you know, very much better than I am and which I'm very happy about. So now I'm really just charting my path and then working on trying to have an advocacy and making it work. Mm-hmm. Because ang dami talaga ng mga artists na walang opportunity. And I'm very mm-hmm. lucky I have the opportunity. So I would like to give that opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yun po ang naging sad part ng some artists, no? Like for me, yung life ni uh, ano to, Van Gogh. He was very poor when while he was being an artist. Tapos when he died, he was, his artwork were also very expensive already. No? So may mga ganong historical backgrounds yung mga artists. <laughs> I would think also, why did God make it that way? To me, ha? Kasi siguro, kung, uh, like ako, kung ako isang artist na super, super rich talaga nga, super rich, um, I will be, I am a, dis- I will destroy myself. Because I will have all the vices in this world Mm-hmm. That is just nothing but useless. And maybe I will not have come to a point wherein I don't think that it is all about me, but it is about others. Mm-hmm. So, ngayon, 
I love my life because it is about others. It is about like, kung saan ako makahawak, like, I am an artist. So, ang mahawakan ko art, kay yan ang aking talaga ma- uh, knowledgeable ako. Okay. So, doon talaga, and the lives of these artists, and I love the way they sing. Mm-hmm. But even in poverty, you have to take a look at it. Uh, I have artists that despite of poverty, ang passion nila for their talent, their gift, I would not say it is a craft. I would say it's a gift. Mm-hmm. It's so lalim na they will do anything para mm-hmm. lang na ang kanilang soul will be seen. Mm-hmm. Opo, ma'am. So, <laughs> ma'am, with the, what is, uh, yung sa modern naman natin ngayon, no? sabi mo nga, you are contemporary artist, ano, ma'am? So, anong opinion mo, anong perspective mo sa mga technology ngayon na parang nangyayari? It's not, uh, parang uh, gumagamit na sila ng mga computer graphics, uh, parang yung modern technology applications na in order to produce uh, their uh, creative ano, uh, work. Ano pong inyong opinion doon sa ganon? Na... I like it very much because one of the subjects that I used to teach in Assumption is uh, 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 multimedia technology. Mm-hmm. And I taught them how to do, how to create art in, in the computer and then how to do design and layout in the, com- in the computer. And uh, it made life uh, faster and mm-hmm. easier because no one sa graphic design studio ko, sa art agency ko, art agency, magawa kami ng text para sa isang ad na, na remember ni pa yan na dinidikit nyo ang mga, mga ano, dinidikit ang uh, letters para nga magawa ng... So imagine if it is like that up to today. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah, when you go to, to the computer, you go to Word, you can even create an art. So Word, yeah. And using your mouse. <laughs> Apo. So, so yung... evolution lang yan na natin. Everything mm-hmm. is an evolution. Mm-hmm. And uh, does that diminish the, sabi na natin na yung art, yung kanilang creativity, hindi naman na affect, no ma'am? Parang na-enhance oh. pa nga in a way. Yes, na-enhance in more ways than one. Na-enhance because the, the first thing when you take a look at an artwork, you always take a look at the content. Kung if there is a story when you see an artwork, then my content siya. Hindi lang siya kung ano-ano lang. Kung ano lang kinopia niya. Like this lady with the basket of flowers. I saw this lady in the beach uh, when I was in uh, Goa in India. She was selling flowers. So that idea of a lady in the beach selling flowers, I created this. I put my own concept into it. And then this other lady with the birds of paradise, one of the one of the flowers that I like are birds of paradise. But you see, I saw this uh, girl ba, na mahiya yung talaga. So, I painted a, uh, a lady that is very shy and I entitled this work into, uh, into her secret garden. That's the title of this work. Anong title secret. po? Anong title? Yung My Birds of Paradise. Ako? Into her secret garden. Ah, nice. So, you create, actually, like uh, Mom JD, you like to create poems. You never know you might be able to create paintings because you have concepts. 
mga idea to makita ka nung isang bagay magawa mo na ng something else Opo. Hindi ko pa ma'am na-explore yon kasi kumbaga hindi pa ako nakakaupo para talaga mag maguhit-guhit pero talagang hindi ako makapag-drawing ma'am eh. Kahit nung undergrad ako ma'am Leti. Si ma'am Leti ma'am kasi is my former uh, teacher in CLSU in my undergrad. <laughs> hindi ako marunong mag-drawing talaga ma'am. <laughs> you cannot say that because... Drawing is just lines and curves. And if you can write your name, you're drawing. <laughs> okay. Para kaya nang sinabi ni ano, ano Bing. Si Bing, uh, pamoso takaan. Mm -hmm. oh. Anybody can draw. Anybody can make a visual art. Mm -hmm. Pero yung kaya nang agree ma po hindi yun, no? Yung parang... Yung sabi mo kanina na natatawa ako na if I've been very rich, I might not be able to express my art because I'll have all the vices. Art actually entails a quietness, di ba ma'am? Oh yeah. At, yeah, quietness, um, focus, conceptualization, internalization of something yeah. that you would like to express outwardly. So whatever it is, it comes out whatever your medium, dance, painting, poetry, music, but it has come, it will come beautifully once you have made it up in your, actually heart and mind, you know, put, put together. Ganon. I do poems also, pero I'm not just as prolific as JD. No? So JD, ang bilis niyang guma. But ako, it will take me time to think about what I would like to put in what in the poetry that I write. Kaya, hindi ako commonly, I write poems, but it does not come as easy as uh, as JD does. Kasi yun nga, the quietness is a necessity for me. <laughs> I don't know. Pero kasi ma'am nga, ma'am, pa-explain ko lang ka sa inyo din, ano, Doc Leti, sinasabi mo mabilis. Kasi parang yung ginagawa ko ma'am na tula, ay hindi naman para sa tingin ko tula talaga ng, ano, yung tula. Kasi parang ma'am, sinasabi ko lang yung what is happening eh. Parang ganun. So I'm not sure if I am really doing the right poetry. Pero sabi nila, may poetic freedom. Kaya sige na rin, pumapayag na rin ako na tumutula ako ma'am. <laughs> anyway. It comes with rhythm kasi eh. Rhythms and rhymes kasi yung ginagawa mong tula. So meron siyang musicality kahit tula yan. So it's art, no? Ganun. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. and, uh, and what do you think of these singers that, that write their, their songs? It's just poems that, uh, with, that with, they put in music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I would agree to that. Mas nung, when I stopped uh, ano using my guitar, I stopped composing songs also, but I used to have song compositions. Kasi ganun nga. You hear it in your in your in your head. That's and true. Down, and then you just write it, and then you hum it. Ayo, kanta na. That's true. That's true. But I can never do that. It's, it's just like I'm telling you. No, I can never do that because it's not the gift that was given to me. So. And you, ma'am, because you have time. Because you're retired, kara. Malapit na ako. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, it's not. It, it, there's nothing like you know, like people who say na na maritire na kung ta na tapos na sa naga na when abut na bang maritire na ako. And may mga colleagues din ako maritire na na takot sila ba? Bakit na maritire na sila kung ano ba yung sila? Ako looking forward ako pag uh, ano pag retire ko. Although pagdating ko na sa retirement na naka-retire na ko, mm. nawala na ko yung, yung discipline ng everyday ba? Ah, kasi wala nang kayong ano, pressure to go to the office on time, yung mga ganun, nawala na yun, ma'am. Na, not only that it is a pressure, it's not really a pressure, but what I'm trying to say, na may routine ka na ba? Opo. Wala ka ng routine. A Parang na, na-discarel ako din uh, for a while. <laughs> Uh, what will I do? What will I do? What will I, you know? So I just grabbed my my paints and brushes and then started painting again. So, Mama, ilang taon na kayong nakaretire? If I may ask. 
I'm 70 now. We retire at 60. Okay, so almost 10 years. So uh, enough time to really develop an, another routine as a retiree. <laughs> Di ba, ma'am? Yes, that's why nga eh. Sabi nyo, may mga friends are saying, bakit hindi ka na maghinto at mag-ano ka lang? So I said, anong gawin ko sa bahay? Magtulala? Kasi mo, I mean, I would just look at the four walls all the time. That's, un that's unfair to life. Sabi ko. <laughs> Hindi yan pwede. Okay. Ibig sabihin nga binibigyan pa ko buhay, kailangan may gawin pa ako. So, amun nga ang advocacy ko, I bring artists to Manila so that they have exposure. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, pag nagganon kayo, makikisakay kami ni JB para okay. ma-expose kami. <laughs> Anytime, anytime. Para ma-expose kami sa, ano, sa, ma'am, sa art. Ako medyo hindi ako expose sa mga painting, ma'am, eh. Para kasing feeling ko pang pagmayaman yung mga painting <laughs> ganun pero ngayon na appreciate ko na siya ma'am mom I, like you question. i have a question have you yeah. encountered ano uh, araceli dance yes i heard of her not encountered i ah. heard of her. she's quite popular yes uh, well, well anyway she had a certain packaging yung kanyang flowers din ang favorite niya eh flowers and parang linens na yung crochet with this oh. time. And she happens to be the mother of one of my close friends here. Kaya I watched her paint and I really had 90 plus na, na siya by this time. But she continues yeah. to paint. Yeah. Wow. She continues to. So you have really to do something. Retirement is a retirement from your former job. But your life is not over. Oh, exactly. Oh, Explore so, different things. So, so, ako ngayon, and you know, the beauty of this is, bakit mo pwede kumakadala ng mga artworks ng mga painters dito who needs to get exposed? Kaya ang mga students po, like the, my student who, uh, at the Stancha Mall, she's the marketing, the AVP ka ng, ng Stancha Mall. So, Hey, Miss Rita, you want to create a show? Come, create it. So, it's a venue for me nga to bring them. Now, sabi ng bigyan niya naman ko, kay, she's the AVP nga of Ortigas Land. So, Miss Rita, may bago kami nga, no? may bago kami building at uh, dinaayos na ang Green Hill Small. So, go, gusto ka? May space doon? Dalhin mo mga artists mo. Because they need it also, eh. So, oh, oh, oh. mayroon talaga, mayroon talaga avenue. Avenue, opo. Oh, oh. Mayroon talaga avenue. Opo. Oh, oh. so, so, one question, one last question from me, ma'am. Uh, basically, yung, can you confirm that your, yung arts, art, the pathway of art or the uh, art career can sustain life? Para oh. hindi siya, Yung it can you can raise a family you can send them uh, to economic school. wise yeah it of is. course economic wise yes I have a good friend my artist Mr Martinez he won nothing now he buys island <laughs> but of course he he brought up his children during his poverty years but of course but the children saw that. And the children nagtatag din. Mm -hmm. And even the children are now artists. And now, nagapaupo-upo na siya nagpainting sa island. <laughs> Ang galing. Tiga. Tiga lang talaga. Ano ka? Ano ka ka alam nun? Friend mo? Ha? Si Mr. Martinez. Rodney Martinez. He's a famous uh, Negrense artist. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, Doc Letty, it's time at mamaya natin hingan si Ma'am ng inspirational message para sa ating mga budding artist, kasama na rin mga designer kasi kasama natin diniscuss ng konti ang disenyo. So ngayon, punta na po tayo sa Doc Letty, ikaw na magsabi para babasahin ko na lang ang ating poetry ni JB para kay uh, artist Rita Bustamante. Artist to artist. Okay. Ng genre and, and one poetry and one various visual arts. Sige, okay. 
Ito po ay pa sa inyo, Ma'am Lita, alay namin ni Doc Letty para sa kwentong likas yaman. So, sining at disenyo ating talakayin. Sining ay bahagi ng ating kultura, isang paraan kung paano maipakikita. Gamit ang ima- imahinasyon ay gagawa ka nitong mga tinatawag silang obra. Disenyo naman ay ang pag-iisip gamit ang imahinasyon para mas kaakit-akit sa loob man o labas ng isang lugar kung ibig, kaya may interior design na sa inyo ay ipababatid. Ang ating panauhing siyang nagbahagi sa katauhan ni Dr. Rita Bustamante, sikat na personalidad at sa karanasan ay marami. Manunulat, creative content developer, communication, uh, visual and graphic artist, advertiser, media product producer, performing arts, at marami pang hindi ko na babanggitin. <laughs> BS Interior Design sa Assumption College nagtapos. Nagmasterado ng development communication sa Open Youth sa Los Baños. Doktorado sa komunikasyon ay sadyang isinunod. Kaya naman sa sipag, tiyaga at dunong, ay lubos. Karanasan sa akademya ay may 25 taon pagtuturo at pangangasiwa ng kolehiyong assumption. Karanasan din sa industriya para sa disenyong mayroon mga bahay, may costumes, sa teatro, makeup and stage design ay idagdag pa doon. Kaya sa kasalukuyan bilang isang retarado, marami na siyang oras para sa pagpipinta mismo. Mga kababaihan at mga bata ang ibig o paborito kasama ang mga bulaklak na inspirasyon ang dulot sa mga tao. Sa so, huli ating tangkilikin ang kanyang mga obra. Dahil sa puso at isip, ito ay sadyang nagpula. Mas pinaganda pa ng layuning para sa kapwa at ang pinakamahalaga ay bilang papuri sa dakilang lumikha. Salamat po! So yan po ang akin pong tulang alay kay Ma'am Rita. Thank you! So good! <laughs> you should be in theater! <laughs> oh. You should be in theater! Oh, sige po ba, sana may makadiscovery sa Atena, no, Doc Letty. That's very, very good. You know, it's it was really amazing. It's really <laughs> amazing. I'm, I'm amazed of that. Because ako nakat nagturo man ako ng uh, acting and all that. But you, you, you can natural to you. It's so natural <laughs> with you. You never thought of taking theater, no? I know, I remember. I know, because our parents before would say, na walang pera sa arts. Wala tayong oh. magagawa dyan. So, yan po. So, ma'am, magbigay ka po ng iyo pong mga huling pananalita o sabi natin mga mensaheng na magbibigay expression sa ating pong taga-subaybay ng aka, nitong ating uh, kwentong likas yaman at lalo na sa mga budding artists and designers po na ating mga kababayan. Alam mo, there's just one thing na gusto ko sabihin. And that is tiyaga. In, sa buhay dito, tiyaga lang talaga ang atin puhunan para maging makuha natin ang ating gusto. Kahit, you know, minsan papuntahin tayo ng ibang-ibang, ano na yun, gaya sa akin, artist ako. And then pinunta ako sa magturo. Wala akong alam magturo. But you have to, yung kwan ba, resilient ka. Hmm. Palagi lang resilient. O hindi ka magsabi na, hi, uh, hindi naman yan ang gusto ko. Eh. Totoo, sa akin magturo, hindi naman yan gusto ko. Anong alam ko magturo? Wala talaga. So I had, nagbasa ako, naglahat ako ng lahat-lahat. I went out from the realm of, of, Uh, of art and use my art for na maging teacher. So, that's why nga mga estudyante kung sabi, grabe naman to aming si Miss Pusamante, sobra naman ang creative. Hindi <laughs> naman na kami artist. Kung so, they always challenge them, anong ibig mo sabihin niya hindi kayo artist? Kaya lahat naman tayo artist. ba? Diba? So, Ma, baka pa lang minsan makita mo ang iyong talagang calling. So, I don't think na it's always say, it's always good to say na 
hindi para sa atin. Mm-hmm. Hindi natin talaga alam natin. kung hindi para sa atin. Tayo lang talaga mag- alam kung hindi para sa atin. Kiki tayo ng bubuhay ng sarili natin. Alam natin kung ano ang gusto natin. And pag alam mo na kung ano ang gusto mo, kailangan i-pursue mo yan. Opo. Kaya parang uh, mabukay ang hindi gusto. Mm-hmm. Diba? But always for the good. I always told my students, one of the things that I always tell my students is that you can do anything, but there's one thing that I will always not accept, and that is being vulgar. Yun lang. You can have kung mag skydiving ka dyan, kung mag ano, kung wala kong pakialam, basta mm-hmm. hindi lang kayo mag vulgar. Only because, kaya kung vulgar ka, the kaya kwa na yun, the ripple effect sa ibang tao, it will hurt people when you're vulgar. Papa. Ang respect talaga is, hindi ko nga, nga naniwala sa love eh. Mas naniwala ako sa respeto. Papa. So, kaya ang respeto, nag, nag, it brings out love. But hmm. not that love brings out respect. No. <laughs> respect always brings out. Respect. Thank you po. Thank you. Thank you for the nice afternoon. Very nice afternoon. Apa. So, yeah, I really appreciate for our interview today. Uh, yeah, ma- i-stop share muna muna para makita natin si Ma'am. Mm-hmm. I-stop share. Yeah, stop share muna ako. Stop. Share. Para yan. Hi. Okay po. So, Ma'am, thank you so much po sa ating uh, pag kukwentuhan, talagang nakaka-inspire po kayo at uh, na marami siguro sa ating mga taga-subaybay ang nakita ang inyong mga obra na talaga namang nakaka-amaze, no? So, thank you. Look thank forward you. to the exhibit sa Vista Mall, ma'am. We will really yeah. get us there. Yes. Kasi namin ko pumunta. Kung uh, makakaigi po ang schedule, baka mag-date kami ni Ma'am Letty and we'll see you there in uh, okay. the mall. I will send you. I will send you the, a message. Thank That's you, Ma'am. Basta wala po may ilang makonflict sa classes namin. Kasi po may klase na kami. But usually, usually naman po, maka-weekend yan, ano po? Ay, no, we will stay for a month. So don't worry. Oh, we have a lot of time. Ayan. Sa Doc Lerner, sa Batik. We have a lot of time. We have a lot of time. Oh, yes. Sige, sige. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. And God bless you, ma'am. Thank you. You have been a great inspiration to us today. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye po. Ingat po kayo. Ingat po kayo. Likewise. Until next week. Bye-bye. Salamat <laughs> po.